What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizol back again with another Final Fantasy Brave XVS guide and the three star espers, the two new ones, Ramu and Shiva are out and I decided to tackle Ramu first because I do believe he's the easier one and I just got done taking him down. So let's get into how we do this battle and then I'll actually go in and show you guys how I beat him down. So Ramu of course is going to be a human so human killer is going to be useful against him. Um, as far as any kind of elemental resistances, he doesn't have any, he's not actually resist to lightning which I thought he would be but he is 100% um, imperiled to water from the beginning so you guys are going to be able to go in there and maybe use double Tetis or throw water weapons on your users if you'd like to do that and he's already got 100% negative to that so that's going to be good for you guys the things you guys can break on Ramu are his magic and his defense his attack and spirit are not going to be able to be broken um, so maybe taking a uh, physical attack party in is going to be good although he does cast protect which is going to be a little bit annoying we're going to have to dispel that off of him uh, let's go into what uh, abilities he has. As you would have guessed it, a lot of lightning damage, so a magic AoE tank that has lightning resist is going to be big here. He has Thunderstrike, which is just one 500% uh, magic damage to uh, one enemy, which is lightning damage, so that's important. Thundaja AoE, 500% magic, damage, uh, 500 magic damage to everybody, so again, magic AoE tank, that's all going to be under magic AoE tank. Does cast Osmos every now and then, that's just the MP Drain, we know that one. Um, has Flash, which is going to cast 100% Blind to everyone. Uh, I haven't ran into this yet, so maybe it's just randomly cast, or because I'm pushing Thresholds. I never really run into uh, worrying about uh, Flash, but then again, we always have the AoE as soon as on most healers now to get rid of that if our physical damage healers do get blinded. Um, now, these are the two big ones, in my opinion, So and also has Protect, so again, we need to be able to dispel that off if we're using physical damage. Um, Judgment Bolt and Lightning Wave. And uh, I'm going to bring up a little insert here as to, uh, you know, what happens on turn one and then what are the thresholds, as you guys can see. But let's talk about Judgment Bolt and Lightning Wave. Judgment Bolt is going to do a 1,000% magic attack to all enemies. It's going to be lightning based. That's a big amount of damage. And then it's a three turn 120% negative lightning in peril on your team. So that's going to be a lot. However, if we can build up our magic AoE tank to be up to 220% by the time that happens, they will still have 100% lightning resist and we'll not have to worry about tanking any of that damage. And that's what we're going to try to do here. Um, I am going to show you guys how to do that. I end up getting before the turn where they start casting Judgment Bolt or Rambu starts casting Judgment Bolt. We're going to have our tank still be at 100% after having the negative 120%. The lightning wave is negative 100% lightning resist. So 20% less than the Judgment Bolt. There's no damage on this, but it does do 100% paralyze to everyone, and that is lightning, uh, a lightning element attack. So, essentially, guys, we need to have paralyzed resist up, and we need to have a magic AoE tank who can tank all this lightning damage. And we're going to get into the, uh, get into the team here in a minute, and I'm going to show you guys that. Um, something else I want to point out is in the between turns, between, um, when, uh, you know, you're pushing thresholds, if you can't push a threshold every turn, there are a lot of physical attacks. He will beat on people. I think there's like five or six of them. I can't remember. And I'm having a hard time having my Warrior of Light actually survive that. So my strategy is to go in, chain it up, and uh, dispel, break the defense with my Warrior of Light, and then have him there as a provoker for just-in-case purposes. Um, however, if he does start getting hit, I can't seem to get him to survive because of the way the team comp is, and I'm not really buffing uh, defense up that high with the way I have it built. Now, for you guys, you might want to take in a... Uh, a six party member and maybe have them be your buffer and debuffer maybe debuff a little bit more than warrior like can or buff them up but now we're going to go over to my team and i'm going to show you guys how exactly i took down ramu all right guys to be able to fight ramu three star you need to make sure you have his two star you can find that in the Colobos isle and the thunder summit you'll see that the uh, new trial of the sage is opened up that's going to be his three star battle we need to use no items which is nothing new to us um, evoke Siren. So Siren's got to be on your team, guys. And we need to have a party of five or less if we want that Super Sight. And I think they made Super Sight harder to get. So you definitely are going to want to pick this up for him. Um, as far as the Chainer is concerned, whatever physical damage Chainer you're going with, uh, for me, it's going to be Sephiroth because there's a, an abundance of him because of the event. And he's going to chain with my Agri. Guys, just be very careful uh, when looking for your Sephiroth uh, chaining friends or your other chaining friends. Because people are mixing and mastering all over the place. They're using the true double hand. They're using the double hand method now. So make sure they're dual wield if you're going to be dual wield chaining like I am going to be right now. And they have the light element, which is good with me. And this is going to be a squad I'm going in with. Again, I have the Warrior of Light there to provoke. But he's taking a lot of damage. I haven't gotten him to live yet with the, uh, without being able to use my TMRs. But let's talk about the most important thing here. And that's going to be our, um, our AoE um, magic... Uh, 
Magic cover tank, if I could talk, I said oh like three times! Because I was thinking. So you can see here I have mine up to 170% lightning resist. And then I'm going to be casting Barthandara through a, um, through a Materia that I'm going to have on my Aria. And that's going to put us up to 220% so that negative 120% lightning resist isn't going to matter. Mystia is going to be able to magic cover everything. So let's look at what equipment I use here. Um, Oryx Kukri is there, it gives us some HP. Um, Dragon Shield. Uh, it's going to give us 30% of the lightning resist that we need, so there's 30% there. Uh, Cat Ear Hood's going to give us a little bit too, 20%. And both of these are, every item I have on her is obtainable through the, the story and through quest. Um, Cat Ear Hood's from the uh, Fat Chocobo or other uh, methods like crafting and stuff like that and exploration. So we have the rubber suit, that's 30. The yellow ring, I do believe, is 15%. Um, I have a jeweled ring on her just in case. Then we have some HP 15% and then I also have the Thunder Resist here that's 15%. Now this was only obtainable through a Cerberus, the Dirge of Cerberus, not Dirge of Cerberus, but the Cerberus event where you had to fight the Cerberus, I think it was Final Fantasy 15 uh, event. So if you don't have this, that's fine. Because I'm only using a 50% buff on my squad, so I'm using Barth and Dara. If you guys have anybody that can buff above 50% in, in battle, thunder damage, uh, thunder, excuse me, lightning resist, uh, you're gonna be fine. So 65%, 70%, if you guys have better green mages that do that even higher, that's gonna be better for you guys. I know Kuja can do it to 100% if you enhance him. I have mine enhanced, I just couldn't put him in the party. So if you guys don't have this 15%, again, you can get gain it through actual buffs in the game, but you wanna make sure you're up to 220% on your magic AoE tank. Moving on over, use whatever healer you want. Um, honestly, I don't really heal that much in this fight. It's mostly used to cast Barth and Dara, like I said, and that's you get that through like the uh, through the Coliseum, I do believe, uh, way back in the day, doing like before Arena came out is when I got that, and then you know have somebody there just in case, um, and also to evoke Siren. I have Siren on her when time the time comes. Then we have our Warrior of Light here. You want somebody that can break um, the defense because we're going to be trying to do as much damage as possible. And we need a, a Provoke tank just in case you don't push the thresholds to force um, Ramu to keep using the abilities we have above me and what we showed before. You're going to need somebody to be able to take that damage. I've built him up pretty good on defense and health, but he still gets stomped, guys. And I have the Mechanical Heart there to try to help him, um, you know. But maybe I'll take the Mechanical Heart off because I don't really need to heal that much. Let's put another HP 10% on him. And see if that works out. He, 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 we might not even get to the point. If I could get to the HP, we might not even get to the point where um, there's an HP 15%. Maybe that'll help him. I don't really know. I mean, I got his HP as high as I can get it. But yeah, he's gonna be there for those purposes. Uh, Agris is gonna be our chainer. Uh, Agris is in the Orlando uh, Divine Relation chaining, and there's so many people you can chain with her, and she's easy to obtain, easy to enhance. Manator plus on her. Uh, uh, not that big of a deal. And then we have our Sephiroth friend who just take a friend with you that you're going to chain with. So let's get in here and see what happens. So turn one again, uh, no damage should be coming to you, but he will do the peril, uh, Paralyze move. So you need to be careful of that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use Mystia to cast the Paralyze Resist on everyone. Uh, go ahead and do uh, that right there. Put the Paralyze Resist up on everybody. Then we're going to have um, our Arya here dual cast Barthandara to make sure we're up on that. And we're also going to cast Protect Gun. Guys, I know it's not the best buff in the world. We have so many better buffers, but this is what I'm working with here. Warrior of Light's going to break the defense on this turn because we want to do as much damage as we can. Go ahead and break his defense up. And then we're going to chain here. It's Divine Ruination, and then the um, the Heavens Wept is what's going to be able to chain the Sephiroth. And that's your perfect chain. Do some elemental chaining there. And we're going to get him down pretty far. Um, so he's going to cast Protect the Lightning Wave, and that's going to be taking down our uh, Lightning Resist and paralyzing us by 100%. But we don't really care because Mystia still has 120% lightning resist up right now. So that's good. So we're going to go on AoE cover. Arya this turn is going to take the time to cast the Noble Dedication MP move because there's nothing really else for her to cast. Rear of Light will be provoking just in case we don't hit another threshold. Because um, <laughs> that can be bad. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, this is a turn where we could have broke the defense, but I don't normally do it. Um, and we'll Divine Ruination back because we break the de if, if, if we dispel him, excuse me, with the Arya. Things can get a little bit weird, so I'm going to go and leave it like it is and just chain it up and see what happens. Down to 71%. Judgment Bolt, that's going to be the one that takes it down 120%. And then also cast Protect. So now we have our Provoke up, right? So we're going to be able to Dispel here, get that Protect off of him. Uh, let's find Dispel real quick. And I'm going to take this time, since we can dual cast it, we're not worried about mana. Bartha and Dara, keep that up. And find Dispel oh, really quick and Dispel him. Get that... Uh, 
stupid protect off of him. Mystique is going to take the time again. I don't I don't mess with anything just in case something goes down. I'm going to keep all my buffs up that I can. Word of Light does have Provoke on, and we just dispelled, so we're going to break that defense and try to push another threshold down to 60% with our uh, two damage dealers. Let's see. Boop. Yep. So we broke another percent. The next one's 40%. So Judgment Bolt's going to happen again. Then Lightning Wave. We don't care about any of that stuff. Uh, as we have 120%. Now we, I think we only have 100% lightning resist right now because we had 220. So he broke down 120% there. Nothing too bad for us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead again and cast uh, the AoE cover just in case. He did not cast protect that turn, which is really good. No protects. We don't have to worry about that. I'll go ahead and put up our uh, protect gun again. Maybe we even buff our attack up. What do you guys think? <laughs> Can we buff our attack with her? No, we can't. Oh, man. Is there anything here that buffs attack? Nah, okay. Well, I guess we'll just cast Protect Go. It's fine. I just think it's funny. Um, and then Warrior of Light? What can you be doing right now, buddy? I guess we can break his magic. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Brave Presence just so it resets the amount of turns that he's provoking. Again, I just like to have buffs up, man. I don't like to be put in a position where, oops, if I would have cast this buff up before, we would have been fine. We're gonna break it down. We're probably gonna crack that 40%, uh, so he's gonna cast Judgment Bolt, which shouldn't do any damage to us, and then Protect. Um, and now we're out of Thresholds. So now is the time. We're going to really want that evoke uh, evocation gauge to be up. If it isn't, just rerun it again, get it up again. Um, I have been tinkering with the idea of switching Arya out for Garnet, because on those off turns, we could be using the evocation buff gauge, which is something that sounds pretty good. Um, so we're going to cast uh, Barth and Dara on the squad and Dispel. We want to get rid of that... Um, let's see, where's the spell? I always lose the spell. We want to get rid of that pesky... Uh, protect he cast on himself. Now he shouldn't cast protect anymore. We want to make sure we have paralysis up uh, And we're gonna break his defense now that the spell is gone. Hopefully we get enough evocation gauge If not again guys, you just run it again. You can get lucky enough to get him. I got it really early last time This time seems a little bit uh, scary on this part He dropped one. Oh man, this is getting rough Dundaja, and this is when he's gonna start auto attacking and like I said my warrior of light has not lived through it But maybe that HP 15% will save him Oh, he lived! Okay, so it, I ended up getting lucky there because he cast a lot more Thundages than actual auto attacks, but as you can see, that's pretty rough. Warrior of Light is pretty low there. Um, not the best. I could try auto attacking this for you guys and seeing if I can get the, um, actually, let's see if we can get the Evocation Gauge. I'll just auto attack him, but we could get unlucky with the uh, Warrior of Light. We don't want that to happen, but hey, hey, I'm doing it for the video, right? So we need to heal up. Warrior of Light's hurting. I took off the, um... The good old mechanical heart, so he doesn't have that happening anymore. So let's get that up there. And see, his defense is broken, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh my god, that's all you healed yourself for? Oh lord, Arya. Um, ugh! maybe I auto attack with Warrior of Light. Does he have the? Does he have provoke on right now? Yeah, increased chance of being targeted. Maybe I just because he's gonna die. So maybe I just auto attack with Warrior of Light and hope it drops an Esper Orb. Yeah. There's one. Does it fill it all the way up? Nope. Next turn. So he should be able to provoke. Okay, next turn we should be good. Unless Warrior of Light dies before the auto attacks end. If we get one next turn. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to auto attack here and hope another Esper Orb comes out. There it comes. All right, dudes. Now we just got to hope to win this turn because of the whole Esper thing. We had him dead, too, if we wanted to. It's going to be Thundasha. There's the Flash. We should be resist to that, though, thanks to um, Mystia. Okay, that turn he just cast a bunch of stuff didn't auto attack. Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and cast Siren. That'll be fine. Let's make sure. I'm pretty sure they resist the blind. Um, yeah, due to Mastia's ability that does paralysis and all that stuff. Uh, resist also. And there we go. Got that done. And we're just gonna take him down and end it here with a little bit of Siren damage and everybody else coming in for the kill. Um, so the auto attacks are the scariest thing on this guy. Once you have this team together, if he starts auto attacking, he can knock out your uh, your tank pretty quick. Uh, does a lot of damage. Even though I had, I think I had a pretty healthy amount of defense. Along with having, um, you know what I mean? A, a good amount of HP, too. It was very strange there. But again, he could just, I, every time he would auto attack me like seven times in a row, he would just keep hitting Warrior of Light until he died. It made me sad. But we got lucky there, got the evocation gauge. Another thing, guys, is you could just take Arya out, throwing Garnet. She can do the exact same thing, just throw Tundara on her. Uh, the only thing she can't do is the MP regeneration, I don't think. But that's okay, because hey, you're getting the evocation gauge up and you don't have to run into that little problem we just did. Um,. But yeah, that's it. This fight is really easy. I'm gonna move. On, uh, I'm gonna be moving on to Shiva if I could talk. 
uh, for the rest of the day, be battling her, try to find a simple way to do it, uh, and get back to you guys in another video. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how many years it's going to take for us to actually level these guys up, because I'm still behind on the other ones. They just made it harder to get Super Sight. And subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.